Please keep track of your scores. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Benson Ye. I'm from National Taiwan University. I'm very uh, honored to present this system to you, the Pokemon. So what is Pokemon? Pokemon is the world's first ever multi-student social gaming platform ever built for MOOC. And later we generalize it for any general course. So any general course can easily use this system to transform your course into a game. And on our Coursera course, we have more than 4,300 students using the, the system. And Pokemon was first launched in my probability course on Coursera, which also happens to be the world's first ever MOOC in Chinese uh, last year. And we launched this system. Basically, this system is a, this game is a map, okay? On this map, we can accommodate thousands of students. Actually, we have more than 4,300 students here. So each color represents one student. This is what a territory of one student this is the territory of another student. And the purpose of this game is to get as much land as possible. So let's say for this student, if this student wants to occupy this land, you just click on it, and then a server will automatically assign a probability problem for this student to solve. So here, this is a course for probability course, but this could be any, like, this could be a problem set from biology or from like, electromagnetics. It can be any problem. So that's why this system can be used for any course. Okay, so as this student's lens growing, let's say this green sky uh, lens keeps growing and touches the, the territory of the orange sky, then he can conquer the territory of this orange sky. And usually when I share this picture with the teachers, uh, a lot of times the teacher will say, oh, you look at this orange guy. He only has two pieces of land left. What happens if he gets exterminated? Or will he lose all the confidence for learning in the future? Don't worry, because when this orange guy gets exterminated, he will be reborn on another map. And on those maps, there are a bunch of people who got exterminated before. Okay? <laughs> so they will they will I believe this will be forever there. Okay, so don't worry about that. Okay? So when a student gets the land, the land will generate fortune, money. So what do you do? You can go to the merchant to buy the monster. We have monsters of three different prices. Five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars, and nine hundred dollars. That's if you buy this monster, you can deploy it at any land you want. Let's say you deploy three monsters on this piece of land, and if your evil neighbor try to conquer that land, each of your monsters will assign one additional problem for your neighbor to solve. Okay, he has to solve all problems correctly before he can take that land from you. Okay, but the problem is when we launched this uh, system of Coursera, we didn't realize that students are so addicted to it. So the the, um, the, the number of problems they solve is twice or more than we expected. So they get twice the amount more of land and twice the amount more of the money. So that's why, you know, after uh, three weeks we launched the system, students have bought all the months that they can buy to, to fill in the land, and then they still have a lot of money left. Three weeks later, after the, we launched the system, and a lot of students complain on the game and say, oh, Professor Ye, you again have very serious inflation problem. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem is that all my team are from double E department and computer science department. I don't have students from economics department, so how can I solve this? So this is how I solved it. I asked my, I asked my developer to release one more uh, monster, okay? It's the same feature, but we draw it more beautifully. And I set the price to be 10,000. And I told the student on the internet, I said, look guys, this is monster is for collection purpose. Somebody so, so special like you deserves to have one, okay? So they crazily say, everybody's buying this monster and we solve the inflation problem. Because, okay, very interesting, okay? And the other thing is that we have a worldwide ranking on the number of problems solved. Many students were so motivated, they even solved more than 200 problems, okay? That's why that got Coursera so impressed. And that's why they wrote an uh, official blog on their article for us. Like, why one professor created the first ever social gaming platform for MOOC? And let me share with you the student feedback I got. This is a, a Chinese student that wrote this to me. Professor, it's a great pleasure solving problem set at dawn right after school every day. This looks insane, right? <laughs> okay. And there's another student said, Professor, with Pokemon, mom never worries about me not studying anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. So students really got addicted to learning because of our game, okay? And actually, uh, we also plot the game score versus Coursera score, and uh, because of, uh, I don't have time to get into this, but the result is that they are very highly correlated, okay? And according to the student poll from the Coursera course, Nearly 90% of the students feel Pokemon interesting and enjoying it. And more than 90% agree that they feel satisfied when doing homework and playing Pokemon. Nearly 90% agree that they are now able to finish more challenging tasks. So Pokemon raises student motivation in learning. <laughs> now the thing is that Pokemon is not just for MOOC, because after we launched it, many K-12 teachers asked us whether we can use this for the K-12 kids. 
So actually, I'm proudly to announce that Pokemon for Kindle Talk students in Taiwan are all subject for March last month. And we have more than 4,000 4, students here. And we are expecting to have 100,000 students uh, by the end of uh, next uh, of, uh, of May. Okay. And also, Pokemon is used for corporate training in one of the Fortune 500 enterprise. Course design using Pokemon is rather right in progress at the dental school in UPenn here. Okay, one of the most prestigious dental school. And Pokemon for high school math in US is currently in play with our local partners. Okay, so this let me show you this uh, the new version we just launched for kids to talk kids. Okay, and you can see here this is a duck meat. I don't know what the hell my developer released a duck meat in the in the store. So he told me that okay, professor, if you want to occupy a land with a monster, just throw him a plate of duck meat. The monster will forget to assign the problem for you to solve. Okay, and this is the back end we designed for the teacher. Teacher can uh, choose the problem, uh, design the problem set specifically for the student. Okay, and you can see that now the system can be used for uh, middle school math, uh, middle school English course, and also biology course. It can be used for all kinds of K-12 course. So game for education, I think it's not just nice to have. I think in the future it will be something must have. Even that we, our kids are always playing iPhones every day. Okay. And I think Pokemon is a new paradigm shift for future learning. And uh, if you are interested in using Pokemon for your institution, please feel free to let me know. Thank you very much. Thank you.